When I first tested the Volkswagen Touareg way back in 2003, I actually tested the power of its awesome 5 litre V10 diesel, which at the time was one of the world's most powerful engines, by just dragging lots of heavy stuff around. Like an enormous telegraph pole. A people carrier trying to drive the other way. And a seven tonne combine harvester. That mega engine, with its whopping 750 newton metres of torque, pulled all of those things with ease. For three years, I've been looking for something big enough to justify both mine and the Tuareg's pulling prowess. Well, I think I've found it. Ta -ha! A 155 ton Boeing 747. It's got a 200 foot wingspan. <laughs> It's over 230 feet long. It's over 60 feet tall! To buy one new will cost you around $230 million, and that doesn't include leather seats. When you see these things land on the telly, these wheels look kind of small, but there's 18 of them on this 747, and they're all three feet tall. If the Tuareg tows this, we reckon it'll be a new world record for the heaviest thing towed by a production car. What ho, Ginger? We're coming in over Berlin and we're not stopping. Da 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 da. After making sure the plane's handbrake was off, I sized up the enormity of what we were intending to do. Pull a jumbo jet with a family 4x4. Four four. I'm not sure it's going to do it, you know. So there we have it, set up. Now, in theory, this engine is powerful enough to drag that, but it has trouble getting enough grip onto the tarmac to actually move it without spinning its wheels. So for that reason, they have added to this 2.5-ton Tuareg 4.3 tonnes of ballast. That's the equivalent of three small family cars. And this is a totally standard production vehicle. The only thing we've had to do is double the tyre pressure to cope with the extra weight. Although Michelin have warned us if we go over 20 miles an hour, they may explode. This really is testing to the extreme. I've been told to put it into drive and we're in low ratio. So you kind of, you multiply your tractive force because you've got a low ratio gearbox and then very, very gently on the throttle to about 2,000 RPM. 1,000, nothing. Got a bit of movement. That's it, we're off. About 1,600 RPM. And I'm pulling a 747 with a Tuareg. Oh my God, the view through the wing mirrors. If you've ever been tailgated on the motorway, well, you've got nothing on me. Well, this feels quite odd. Just gotta be really gentle with the throttle, but it, it's not bogging down or, or doing anything weird. It's just, it's just pulling it. That's 155 ton on the back of this. And you're kind of aware of it, but oh god, look in the weird view. That's so odd. We're doing five kilometers an hour, which is as fast as I'm gonna go. That's awesome. 155 ton in a Tuareg, a new world record. <laughs> Right, I've backed off a bit now. Just gonna let it roll to a stop. We can't put the brakes on because apparently it burned the discs off the car, so we just have to let it go down. Very last minute, we just apply some brakes. There you go. A little bit of a thump there. And we've stopped. 
See, he's trotting around off-road and everything's cool until he tries to get up a slope from the flat. And if you watch, the front end digs in before the front wheels have a chance to get some purchase and drag him up the slope. Same thing happens if he tries to reverse up. Look. Sarah had driven straight.